dread. This is a, uh, this this is a core for accountability. <laughs> <laughs> you fund government's charcoal to this is a, bright this, red. It's a core for accountability. I enjoy it. So I think literally and figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. <laughs> okay. And of course, when he puts his fangs into you, you certainly feel it. I think it pricks the conscience very quickly and sharp. Okay. So certainly a fantastic avenue for a great editorial and one that literally wakes us up. This is our society, right. and it will take me and you to mm. do it. That's why I always watch Johnny's Bite. <laughs> the general watches Johnny's Bite. Very, every day. Thank I you very watch. much. And I is devoid of insults, mm. but straight to the point, mm. factual and fearless. What he seeks to do is to bring attention to some of the ills or some of the problems that we have. Mm. And um, even though it's often very spicy, I was telling him mm. that he could add some ketchup on the side. Oh, you should add some ketchup. It's too hot for <laughs> you, eh? Hot. I don't get surprised when people criticize you. But I think you are doing a good job. Thank you, sir. And don't at all think about what people will say. Continue with the objective work that you are doing. And definitely, it will help this nation. Because you are not doing it for yourself. But what Ghanaians cannot say is what you are saying. Hey, Charlie, no be joke. Oh. You know, the pressure joking. people like Johnny can give you. No, no. You don't get gray hair, you I'm, get gray I'm, hair. I'm innocent. And <laughs> that's what I'm saying, that the pressure Johnny and his people, <laughs> mm -hmm. the pressure they can give you, you don't get gray hair, you go get. So your best bet is not mm. to have hair. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, Hasban Allah, and Imam Akil, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of that I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil, my cup of flows, and surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. Drink a good dairy this morning. It's good for you. Drink it in the afternoon. Drink it at night. It's good for you and your family. Cocoa dairy is fantastic. And you have to enjoy it. So pick up your phone now. Let's, let me dash you a phone number that you can call and get cocoa dairy. Free coconut milk. Comes in five varieties. It's amazing. Across the country. 0277 4440 180. That's 0277. Uh, 4440180. Visit the Facebook page, Coco Dairy Free GH. Yesterday I was thinking and asking myself how Ghanaians feel pressured at this time. And you see, they say a problem, a problem admitted, when you admit that you have a problem, is when you get the problem solved. A while ago I was talking about the fact that. Our government has refused, and the officials of the government have refused to accept that we have a problem and that they are part of the problem. So we admit that times are hard. That's not enough. What was your contribution to the times we had? Because when you wanted to introduce e you told people that, oh, people generally do not like to pay taxes. And that was a lie. Our president even sat on the BBC and said that, our industry around the telcos area was not heavily taxed. He lied. Telcos pay income tax. We pay communication service tax, CST. It was sitting at it somewhere. Government came to introduce it from six to nine and brought it down to five and said we should clap for them. Maybe the president has forgotten or he doesn't know. Maybe somebody needs to tell him that whenever we use our call, our phone credit, and our data, we pay taxes on it per second billing. Maybe our president doesn't know. So when they say we, are, we have not been taxed enough, I shake my head. I went to buy water over the weekend. I bought water at a place in East Legon. It's an eatery. I pay 1% tourism levy. I pay 25 get fund. I pay 2.5, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what was the other one? I've forgotten. I pay pollution tax. I pay VAT. One bottle of water. By the time they brought me the water, the water itself was small price. The taxes were almost half of what I had to pay. Now, if you use electricity, 
you have to pay 21 or 27 percent more and therefore water 21 percent more so if you're buying consuming 100 Ghana cities you're paying 121 if you're paying electricity 100 Ghana cities, you're paying 127 that's the situation we're talking about yet our income has not improved fuel has gone up iron rods have gone up cement has gone up paint has gone up school fees will go up and yet we we don't see where the money is going your children are in school they can't find food to eat they are eating coco sakura and you see the minister of education went to do uh matra makwe matra makwe matra makwe the situation still persists and as a result of covid you told us we cannot visit our children in schools because you know there's no food in the schools to feed the children yet we are planting for food and jobs where is the food we planted where is it and I'm asking these questions because those are the daily questions on the streets. Like John was said, said, when you put that abyss in power, they lose touch with the reality. And that's where we are now. People who have had their Kenke slides for them, they don't go to Awonye or uh, Niamanye to go and buy their Kenke to come and peel. Their Kenke is bought by the house help. It is brought to the kitchen. It is peeled. It is sliced. Put on the plate three slices, then they eat. They don't know what the stress is. I go back to line and I come here. They don't know. They don't know what Otishino is. They don't know. They have no idea. And those are the people who group and promise the young people that when we get second term in office, when you vote for us, we will pay your rent. This morning, my rent is about to die. You see your face? You went to queue to vote. You believed in the rent allowance matter. And Nana Kumia said he even feels shy because the promise that was made to the young people that when you're going to get student loan, you don't need a guarantor. You just need a Ghana card, which is better than 1,000 interchanges, according to Dr. Baumia, our economic waste kid who is now an IT expert. They told you that you are going to use your Ghana card, which is better than 1,000 interchanges. I'm stretching it because Osechi Mezamoto was beaten with water in his constituency for one interchange. Yet the people had, in, they had Ghana cards. They didn't know the value of the Ghana card. The price of your CD now, before the dollar, it is shaking. Danny, show me that picture. How much you need to swap $100. And yesterday I told you that they said two heads are better than one. How is it that our city has six big heads? There's one big head on the dollar. Our city has six big heads. They can't compete. You have one $100. This is how much you need to change it. Yet is Sikasu. $50, right? And this is how much yet is Sikasu as you come there. Or my new here, my. It is a castle. I said, now my mom born in the comedian. The president of Kufado said it. Today, President Kufado has refused to speak to the people of the republic. He speaks now in dispatches. Dr. Baumia has refused to organize a lecture. When he organizes a lecture, he is talking about past tense. When we are talking about present continuous. Where is the rent we promised the young people of this country? Then he put that story up in the video for me. We promise young people in this country that we're in our second term we'll pay rent for them. NPP government to pay rent for working youth. You forget about those who are not working. The new patriotic party, NPP government, in its second term will advance loans to young Ghanaians in formal employment to pay their rent. We have not paid NAPCO. We have not paid youth in afforestation. We have not paid NSS. We are promising. This is part of the housing policy captured in the 2020 manifesto of the party. It was made known by the vice president, Dr. Baumia, the party manifesto launched at the University of Cape Coast in the central region. That's the vice president. Bosu, good morning. Addressing invited members of the party at the UCC's new examination center, Neck Hall, uh, on Saturday, August 22, and we are in August. So this is what? Uh, a full cycle, right? Full cycle, two years on. Dr. Babia said, government noted the market failure between what tenants want, eh? listen to what landlords also want. This, your pine created a gulf. In order to close that gulf, 
the National Rental Assistance Scheme will be set up to advance loans to applicants but pay directly to landlords to cover rent advance payment. End of story. Let me play the video. He is going to relieve the young people of this burden of rent advance. What the NPP has in store is what we call the National Rental Assistance Scheme. Now this scheme will be set up very quickly in the next four years of the NPP. Now this National Rental Scheme for Young People has the following features. It will provide loans to Ghanaian youth at very, very low interest so that you can pay for rental accommodation. Now, the monies will be paid. Landlords who desire uh, to, to rent homes will register under the scheme. The rent, the advanced rent of two years or three years will be paid directly to the landlord. And you, the beneficiary youth, will just pay monthly payments to the scheme. So you would not have to look for um, um, all these huge amounts of three years rent, four years rent, and so on. The next NPP government will work to deepen job creation and better target job creation for young people who are willing to work. One major pursuit will be the One District, One Factory program. All of us, in, in the days of our primary school and secondary school, we're taught that the way forward for this country is industrialization. And it is industrialization that will throw up the jobs, that will provide jobs on a sustainable basis, that will save the foreign, uh, the, the foreign exchange that we bleed in, in imports, and that really will put this, the economy on a sound footing. And all the countries that are rich today, that many young people like to go to are industrial countries. And if we follow suit and manage to industrialize our country, nothing stops us from attaining. So I asked this question. This was what was promised to the young people of this country. What was promised to the young people of this country is this. We will pay your rent because we realize that most young people do not have homes of their own and there was an uh, accommodation deficit. And we capitalize on that. And we capitalize on NAPCO, remember me. And we capitalize on free SHS. And we've been bought past questions. And we did all those things just to win power. And even that at the 2020 polls, the one million, suppose one million votes from 2016 was halved. It tells you how the goodwill of the government is have come down. This morning, I'm just asking a simple question. Nana Kumia, good morning to you. Good morning to Vice President Dr. Bamia. Good morning to everybody who was part of that press briefing that said, we will pay the rent of the young people. They are asking you for their rent. And you see, it is tied to you being part of a working youth. What is your unemployment rate? It has increased. From 7% to what? 14. I will create jobs. I will be Basen, Nebe, Amobenye, Juma, one district, one factory, one village, one dam. The other time when I asked the minister for Greek, what one village, I said it's just a slogan. That is not fair for me to ask him. I should go and ask how I come sin. A Greek minister, he said, but the dams where the dams are created, they'll be used for irrigation, which is a Greek. He said it is just a slogan. The tape is there. If you dare me, I'll play it. I have tapes. So now the question, the question now is this. Where is that? I and mean, I don't manufacture any facts. So I play your video. I read your story. I share your documents. I put it to you. I'm not a lawyer. But I'll put it to you. Because I don't manufacture it. Johnny's bite is factual. It is the people's bite. And what the people want is what you give to the people. Finish. If all politicians understand this, Ghana will be a sweet place. 
When you have told the people that you pay their rent and their rent is expiring and they can't see you, they don't hear from you, you don't breathe a word, there's a problem. Young people are going through stress. Their rent allowance has not come. If they are NSS people, it has not come. If they are NAPCO people, you have not paid them, you have ignored them, and you know that NAPCO has ended, but you have not told them. You do know that youth in afforestation, you have not paid them. On top of that, their incomes have not risen, yet you are doing increases in water, increases in electricity, increases in fuel, which affects everything. And then on top of it, you have been downgraded. C, 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 Nanako, Ta, Ta, Bonko, Bonko to Bonko to Bonko to Bonko, E, Ma, Mie, E, Pa, Pe, E, Bombo, Fire. Good morning. We're going to Greece and Turkey for the Afro Cruise Jam. A seven day cruise experience filled with culture, discovery, and music from Ghana's High Life Giant, Abrantia Amachidede, the Iron Boy. Abrantia Amachidede, I'm inviting you to the Afro Cruise Jam. It's going to be serious. Now from September 7th to September 13th, hosted by Grammy Award winning Hitman.